13th year. Uh, the Ice Rays uh, have hockey here in Corpus Christi, so why doesn't everyone give themselves a, a big round of applause for a great season? I just want to begin by thanking everyone and, and welcoming you to the uh, end of the year banquet, the 2011 banquet. Uh, basically, we're going to have a couple of presentations uh, to begin things tonight. We'll also have a slideshow presentation, which will show some videos and some pictures uh, uh, from the ice and uh, around the community throughout the season. And then we'll give out some player awards uh, tonight as well. So we hope uh, to have a lot of fun tonight and uh, really celebrate uh, the 13th season uh, of hockey here in Corpus Christi. Uh, at this time, I just want to introduce uh, the co-host, the uh, other MC for the evening, uh, Stephen King. Thank you, sir. Once again, as Ryan said, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for your continued support. It was very interesting. People asked so many questions when the announcement came. CHL to the NAHL, what would we expect? Well, I think we definitely got probably a lot more than we ever anticipated. I know one thing, uh, I really enjoyed myself. I've been with the organization for 13 years, since the very beginning, and I tell you, there was something new and something so vibrant about this year with these young athletes, what they brought to the ice. It was incredibly exciting, and uh, I sincerely look forward to many, many years of this NAHL style of hockey. The enthusiasm they bring, night in, night out, the work ethic. First off, I just want to say to them, congratulations on putting a tremendous effort forth, and to all of you, continued success in your in your hockey future whether it's here in Corpus Christi next year or if you are off on your way to college and we wish all of you the best if that be the case but as Ryan says it's a night for the players and for all of you season ticket holders we thank you so much for being here and uh, to get things started let's bring up the general manager of your Corpus Christi Ice Rays Mr. Pat Dunn Thank you very much. Thanks everyone for being out here tonight. And uh, before we start, it's, I'm just going to go through a list of thank yous here and I'll have one uh, special announcement at the end. Um, and I forgot my uh, thank you note in the office. <laughs> it's a long way, so it's a little scribbled. If I forget someone, from the bottom of my heart, I, I apologize, but uh, we don't. See, I just saw someone at the back here that I need to... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> to uh, not forget. But uh, no, seriously, we want to thank you uh, for coming out tonight. And, uh, you know, to our staff, who are we're a, a very small staff, and I think uh, we stepped it up a notch this year. And as you can tell by, by the room and Ryan with the, with the show later on, I want you guys to give them all a, a good hand of applause. <clears throat> And since I didn't have to go to Tim as many times as I did last year, we got two kegs of beer, <laughs> courtesy of. <laughs> Enjoy. Um, well, I just want to thank you um, again for, for a wonderful season. Like uh, Stephen said, we didn't know what was going to happen uh, this year. We didn't know we were going to have hockey. And uh, at this same date, Saturday uh, of last uh, Last year at this time was the last weekend, and uh, I happened to talk with the Arizona Sundogs coach. He told me they were going to the NAHL, and I questioned him. I'm like, what the heck is the NAHL? And um, oh, I got my answer, and he says, we're going to that next year. We can't afford. We're lo losing over a million bucks. And I'm like, well, we're the same. So I, uh, I flew to Topeka, Kansas, watched the game and said, you know what, there's nothing wrong with this. This is going to be fun. I sold it to Tim, and here we are you know, a year later. So at this time last year, we didn't have a recruit. We didn't have a, nothing. Um, Brent Hughes and Justin Quenville and whoever we were on the team last year didn't even know I was in Topeka, Kansas, and we were playing the Fort Worth Brahmas in the playoffs. So anyway, make a long story short, we made it to the NAHL, and here we are. And uh, I'm not sure, and I can't talk for other teams, aside from Odessa, who made their announcement yesterday, but uh, there may be more to, more to come. But we, uh, for once, we're the first ones to, to do it, and people are following us because of you. Now I'm going to start thanking everybody, and I, I'm not going to go in order, and I'm just going to go by my list here. Uh, first, 
and foremost, I mean, we, uh, we all work hard at the games. We have different tasks. We run around and we try to put a game on. The one group that has never been recognized, well, at least the years I was here, were the off-ice officials. Without them, there wouldn't be a game. So give them a great hand. Thank you. And like I said, I'm, I'm not going in order, but uh, I'm looking at... We want to thank the, uh, the American Bank Center. <clears throat> They've caught a lot of heat over the years with the building and the this and the that. They've been uh, great to work with. Amy, Jim Salamenta, thank you. The next thank you was new to us this year, and uh, they, you guys have all been wonderful. And I don't know how to thank you enough. And you please stand up, all the billet parents. Please stand up. <laughs> these people open their homes to these young men. Did a great job. Thank you very much. The parents of the, uh, of the players as well who have uh, came through our beautiful city night in night out they travel from ohio north dakota south dakota minnesota michigan uh, not forgetting anyone florida alaska uh please all the parents that are here tonight i know the blairs Tarasos, craigers please stand up give them a great hand And these wonderful people sitting up front right here, our friends, the interns, did a great job this year with its winner, Louis Garza, and all their friends. They did a great job. Thank you, guys. And again, I'm not going in order, so don't... Uh, our staff, everybody, everyone, Ryan, Kinger, Cass, where are they, Mashari, Dave, Holly, uh, Rudy, I'm forgetting someone, I'm sorry. Um, Amanda. <laughs> hey, you know why I forgot her? Because I'm going through the departments and she has about five under her name. Give her a great hand, please, everybody. The coaches. Uh, Jeff Pelusio, well, go Brent Hughes, Justin Quenville, Jeff Pelusio, and Jason Baird. Thank you. <laughs> Our head scout who uh, bailed on us and is playing tonight for the Fort Worth Brahmas, Ryan Bennett. <laughs> Very important point for Ryan Bennett. Uh, Ryan has uh, traveled the country. Uh, over the winter. Like I said, at this time last year, I was learning about the NAHL. This year we have eight recruits signed already. We have our, about a list of 300 players to draft from. So uh, myself and the coach won't look as stupid when we uh, face the draft next year. And, uh, you know, we, we use the, the card the first year thing all year. Well, that's done. Starting last night at 9.25, it's done. We can't use it anymore. So we better put a team on the ice, guys. So no, no pressure. But uh, we use that one. And you know what? To, to our defense, if you look at all the, all the new teams that were in the league this year, everyone had anywhere between 15 to 20 wins and 40-some-odd points. So we were right in the pack. Austin Aberdeen. Uh, us, uh, Fresno, Dawson Creek, I go on and on and on, and we were all uh, new teams. Everyone finished at the same place, so there's no, uh, no difference. So uh, uh, believe us when we tell you that, and hopefully next year, and, uh, and not hopefully, but we will, and obviously uh, you know, have, a, have a better team, and hopefully our win-loss uh, win record will improve. And, uh, and I'm certainly, I'm sure, and I'm telling you guys this, we're going to put all the effort to put uh, you know, a good, good, good team on the ice. And uh, I'm not to discriminate or say anything bad about the, the guys. We put a team last minute, and, uh, and these boys, like Kinger said, went out on the ice every night, every shift, and gave it an effort. Thank you. I got the trainers. I got... 
George Escamilla, Trevor Hadley, who are uh, working behind the scenes, and, and the Stig boys. I know Chris is here, and Trent is not here tonight, but Chris and Trent as well. Thank you uh, for all that you guys do. <clears throat> we know the players make a, a, a significant um, decision to become a hockey player. They make sacrifices. They're not they're your typical 17 to 20 year old kids. Um, although some of them will, will try to twist it and go out, but you know they've been they've been uh, you know sacrificing their lives to become hockey players. Their parents had made sacrifices, and um, we have the the perfect uh, table right here in front. We've got some recruits that came from all over the country with their parents to uh, try out for the ice rays and, and make the ice rays. Please give them a good hand. Thank you guys for coming out. Thank you for the parents for your investment. And uh, not to forget our friends uh, at the, the Booster Club. I mean, I know the, the players, and they'll probably address it later on, but uh, you guys have been wonderful. And obviously, uh, there, was no, there was no food returning uh, on, from the road trips with these guys, I tell you right now. But uh, uh, on their behalf and on our behalf, we want to thank you. From the first day of training camp, you served breakfast to the, the last road trip to Amarillo. You filled the bus with food. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> to um, Mr. Tim Lang, who uh, made a significant investment again to save hockey in Corpus. I want to thank you, Tim. He's not here tonight, but uh, was here last night and, and had a good time. Thank you, Tim. I mentioned earlier um, the off-ice officials, and I know they walked in after the fact that I addressed them, but Donovan and John Hutchison at Point Street, thank you. And last but not least, all of you season ticket holders and sponsors, and I know you hear it every year, but without you it wouldn't be possible, and give all you guys a hand. Thank you so much. You do. You do. And my last announcement, and that one is, is uh, the one that we, we've, I, I was never able to do every year uh, because of, of different reasons. Well, I'm announcing today that there will be hockey next year in Corpus Christi. <laughs> and for many years to come. So. Having said that, thank you everyone again for coming out. Enjoy uh, our night and, uh, and thank you. And I saw Patrick here with the family and always nice to see you guys as well. Thank you. Have, a, have fun guys and I will leave it to our MCs. I've uh, used up my time here. I'm, I'm getting buzzed every time. I got a, a pager and I went over the time limit. But sorry about the delay, but it was just uh, such a nice evening and we want to thank everybody again. Thank you and have a good time.